this video, we're going to do some fun games that you can do at home. Um, as you see, I have my daughter here. She's going to be doing all the hard work while I just sit back. No, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be for very young martial artists, like five-year-olds, four-year-olds. It just can be for everybody, including the parents. So get involved. And the most important thing is to have fun. So make sure you have fun, right? Yes. All right. And let's go. All right. So first things first. Uh, we're going to use a prop, and it's a prop that everyone has at home, and one of these, it's a pillow. Pillows are great martial art tools, okay, because you can use it and it doesn't hurt. All right. Okay, first thing we're going to do is practice blocking. Okay, look at me. All right, now, if you remember, Tiny Tigers is not we have four direction blocking, all right? So, Claire, inside block. Just practice inside, from here. Outside, down, up. Now, you're blocking air, that's not fun. So, let's use your pillow. So, ready? Inside block, outside block. Down, you wanna aim towards the belly, down, and up. And make sure you have fun. So, let's do it again. Have more fun, okay? Ready? And it's like, Whoa! do sound effects. Whoosh. Now, for you big parents, especially for those strong moms and dads out there, don't try to knock your kids out, but have fun. Whoa! Oh man. Okay. Sticking with their theme here, um, dodging. So you can still, size blocking, you're gonna duck and we're gonna jump. Just like we do in the dojo, okay? So, what you wanna do, duck, touch the floor, jump. Hey, pretty good. And this will get your, your um, student, your kids, the heartbeat and getting some exercise in as well. So, right here, right here. Ready, duck, jump. And then you can even add some flair to it. If you have space, they can cartwheel, because they wanna get out the way. Go ahead, cartwheel that way, that way, ready? And cartwheel. Good. Don't hit your couch. Okay, so again, this time spin, okay? So duck, jump, spin. What do you mean? Spin out the way, right? Or duck, jump, spin out the way. Good. And these are some cool things you can do with the pillow. Alright? Okay, right, now stop using the pillow as so in the dojo we have these big shields that students can kick and strike. We're gonna use instead of pillow at home. So, Claire, ready? Good stance. All right, and you can practice your punches. Um, lead hand, jab, reverse hand. Don't put your thumbs in your fingers. Make sure your hands are correct, okay? So, ready? Hanado, ready? Hanado. Hey! Right, this one first. Hanado. Hey! Now, if our neighbors didn't knock on our door, you may not want your kid to key up that loud, so you can just go, <gasps> just a, a quiet key up, depending on where you live. So try quiet. <laughs> Good, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Good, so you can go that way, go that route. Um, you can use your palm strike, ready? Palm strike, first stance, first stance. All right, and just go hand out. Palm strike. <laughs> right. Double palm strike is there. Do it again. You can go single palm strike, starting with your, your right hand. Ready, go. Another one, okay? Just like in class, put your hand out, okay? And strike, 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 strike. So you can do that. Make sure you breathe every strike. Um, you can even go with knife hand strikes. Now knife hand strikes go to different directions. You can go down, ready, strike down. Other hand, strike. You can go sideways, strike, strike, double, that's good. Use your left hand, strike, strike. One more time, go. So for us parents, um, you can count in your preferred language, obviously Korean martial arts, we're gonna go, you can say it also in Korean. So I want you to do punches now, 
This time I'm going to count in Korean. So, horse stance, horse stance. There you go, hand out. Okay, ready? Hana, do, se, ne, gas, gas, yoga, karo, aha, yo, okay. So, this is more instruction. What did I say at the beginning? Have fun. So, now, ready? So, I want you to punch again. All right, bad guy. Ready? Rawr! Don't let him get to you. Ah. Ready? Yeah. Two punches. Ready? Ah. One, two. Ready? Go. Ah. Ah. You missed. <laughs> All right. So try to have fun. Ready? Hit. Too bad. Ah. All right. So let's move on. So notice I have two pillows because kicks actually are quite are stronger than hand strikes typically. So, when we go all over, I'm gonna just wear it kind of like some body armor here. Put it right here, and I'm even gonna get low so she can practice kicking, not just on air, but actually on me. So ready, front kick. Ready, go. Do it again, ready, go. We're gonna switch, and kick. And how does that feel, Claire? To kick this, is that better? Because I don't wanna get hit, so go ahead, kick. Right. Now, again, you can have fun, all right? Go around, and I'm gonna pretend to be the bad guy. So I'm gonna come in and go, rah, kick, rah, rah, kick. All right, we can even try different kicks depending on where they're standing. So I want Claire, keep standing this way, right here, face that way, face that way, turn around, and scoot back. So depending on where you stand, it changes the kick. So from here, you can go side kick. All right, remember. So I'm gonna try to be a bad guy. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Rawr! Very good. All right, from here, go ahead, face that way. Back kick. So knee up like a front kick, backwards. Good kick. You always wanna watch where you're kicking, watch where they're kicking, because we don't wanna get kicked when we're reading, where it's gonna hurt. So, ready? Knee up and kick. Good. So you can pretend to be a bad guy, go around, and just use what you have at home. All right. Oh, other favorite kick: bottom chagi round kick. Yeah, jump kicks work too. So let's do your um, round kick again. I'm gonna wear it like armor. And so first turn chamber, top of foot right here. Remember? All right. So change. Ready? Face me and round kick right here. Not bad. Chamber your foot and go. Bend your knee first. Bend up, sideways, and kick. Go. There it is. Again. And with this, your kids can kick as hard as they can without hurting them or you. All right? One more, as hard as you can. Go. Good. Other side. Switch your feet. Ready? All right, kick hard, ready? Hup. All right, use the top of your foot and good. Oh, that was a good one, that would've really hurt. All right, so you wanna make sure you use your pillows. And now, what you can even do with this is combine it together. So you can go uh, block, ready? So we're gonna do some blocking drills, punching drills, kicking drills, all at once. So that guy's gonna get you, ready, block. Bah, bah, bah. Ready, punch. <laughs> One at a time, punch. Kick. Kick. Ah, kick. Another one. Kick this eye. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. All right. Good job. High five. Okay. Is that fun? A little bit or a lot? All right. There's some other games that we can play, okay, that you don't really need pillows for. And it, this is gonna get you involved. This one, ah, it's fun to do. So here we go. Push up position, face me, push up. All right, so some of the things you can do is, oh, and make sure you do this on a carpet or something soft. Doing this on a tile, it may not feel so good for you. All right, so here we go. 
Now, all we're gonna try to do is make the other person fall. Ha! <laughs> 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 And this is slippery, so it's actually quite challenging for me. <laughs> ah! All right. The other thing you can do is stand up. Make sure you use both legs on this one. It's balancing drills. So knee up. All right. And we can just see who can hold it the longest. Who's the winner? Whoever puts their foot down first holds me push-ups. And this is where you can... <laughs> 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 you can practice your blocking finger too, right? posting every day what I do want to do is online classes because I, I don't want to put all of our techniques out there uh, for somebody who's not a practitioner to pick up these techniques and use them unwisely or in a dangerous way so let's make sure um, the practice forms there they are online everywhere um, but it's good to see your instructor do them and try to do them the way you've been taught so for the most part, for the most part, um, I'm gonna send out some links, either using Zoom or there's another app. Um, and I'm trying to still figure out which one's the best. Zoom might be, it's very popular at the moment. Um, so the Zoom app, I haven't leaned one way or the other, but I will inform you guys when our next session is. And that way, I'll try to keep it more contained to those students that are practicing specific techniques. The other thing is, it's apparently it's a, it's more of a two-way communication as well, so people can still communicate with each other, and that way I can see your techniques and try to try to do our best that way. Um, we're all in this situation together. Let's do our best, and that's yeah, we're in it together, and we're gonna come out stronger in the end. All right. Miss you guys, you take care and see you the next time.